Hey, guys, it is Scott the Steamroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It's Tuesday, the 12th of March. Let's talk a little ACC tournament basketball, shall we? Take a minute, smash that like button, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for the effort. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. When you do that, make sure you ring that bell and get notified every time that we put up brand new content, not just from me, but from all the great video handicappers around here. And of course, uh, check out winnersandwiners.com, a pretty cool site that gives you previews, predictions on every single game, every single day. Hey, man, if you're looking at some of these conference tournaments like the Colonial or the A-Sun, maybe you don't know everything about all those teams. Winners and Winners is a fantastic resource. And while you're over there, make sure you check out the premium plays. Yours truly is uh, currently a 15 and 5, well, 75% run on the last 20 college basketball games. So make sure you check out my premium plays as well. All right. So I uh, recorded this before the Gonzaga game, uh, but we can uh, talk about that Iowa game. And that was. Uh, that was, uh, what do you call, not a fantastic pick. That, uh, In fact, that was a little cold. A little cold there, guys. And uh, Iowa just, you know, they just, they never, ever really showed up. All the things I thought would matter, I thought it would mean a lot to them. Yep, none of that came to pass. Illinois did exactly what the public thought they were going to. So, a uh, good day for the Joes, bad day for the books. All right, so let's take a look. In the ACC tournament, as we uh, uh, look at Louisville, North Carolina State, I think this is a 4.30 Eastern time start. I know it's a mid-afternoon start, so plan accordingly. Make sure you get your bets down uh, with plenty of time to spare. And by the way, if you're in North Carolina, congratulations to be on being able to stay home and bet on one of your teams. Congratulations, North Carolina sports betting now legal. Uh, I'm still in hell here in Missouri where they cannot, cannot get a sports book bill passed, uh, mainly because one guy wants to include video lottery terminals in the act. And every time it gets shot down, eesh. all right, so enough about me. Let's talk about Louisville and North Carolina State. North Carolina State, nine and a half point favorites. I'm going to ride the favorites here, guys. You know I don't love laying big numbers, especially two games in a row, but sometimes in these conference tournaments, that's what you're faced with, especially in the early rounds. Uh, I'm also willing to make an exception for this awful Cardinals team. Now, yesterday, we took a team that uh, is a very good team against another pretty good team. We counted on the very good team to do their thing. We'll see how the results go. Tonight, we're going to count on a pretty average team to beat the shit out of a terrible team, and that is the Louisville Cardinals. Uh, they started off poorly this season, and it just got worse, especially over the last couple of months. Uh, they have failed, and uh, they have failed to win or cover over their last set, uh, seven games, and they are doing it in style, losing by an average of 16.2 point points per game. Uh, even worse, in that seven-game stretch, they made Notre Dame and Boston College look like legitimate uh, college basketball teams. That's hard to do. It really, really is. Like I said, Wolfpack, they're not a great offensive team, but Louisville is just bleeding points right now. Plus, you know what I look for this time of year in teams? I look for veteran guards, and North Carolina State has veteran guards, one senior, two juniors. And Horn and Taylor can both light it up from downtown. One word about Horn: he was injured late in the last in the or he was injured in the last game. The word is that uh, he will be playing. It's not listed on the injury report, but there is some mumbling about that injury. So take a look if you can get a report on Horn for this game. I uh, would not play this game without Horn. He is our leading scorer, and his absence makes a hell of a difference. Even though Taylor put up 28. Last time out when he got injured. Uh, in addition to veteran guards, they've got a, a three-man rotation of big men, and I expect them to feast on this week Cardinals inside game. Uh, to recap, I think they can score inside. I think they can score outside. Uh, Louisville Cardinals have been going through the motions for about two months now, and after this game, it will all be 
over. And North Carolina State sends them packing in style. Give me the North Carolina State Wolfpack minus nine and a half. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right. You guys have a terrific day. Man, I love this week of basketball. Uh, hopefully, if you are uh, if you have a day job still, you are able to call in this week. <laughs> if not, hopefully, you're able to watch at your office. If you don't have a day job outside the house, it's going to be a great week. All right? So, have some fun. Let's make some money. We'll talk about it all again next time. Take care, everybody.